Welcome back to Electric Scooter Reviews. In this video, we're taking a look at the Kugo M2 Pro and discussing its features and what makes it special. The Kugo comes in at $350, making it a lower end commuter scooter. For scooters in this price range, you can expect basic features and not too many bells or whistles. The M2 Pro falls in an interesting price range as it's in the middle of being a cheap scooter and a budget scooter. For comparison, the GoTrax GXL V2 is $300 when factoring in all coupons and deals, and the GoTrax XR Elite is $390 when using deals as well. Let's take a look at what we get in this price range. Starting off with the basics, the M2 Pro has speeds up to 15 miles per hour and 18.5 mile range and what makes it stand out from other scooters is its ease of use. Here's what I mean. The first major standout feature is its folding mechanism. A good or bad folding mechanism can make or break how portable a scooter can feel. A bad system is frustrating and put a damper on the whole ride, while a good system isn't noticed at all. The Kugo M2 Pro has a simple latch that you lift, you fold the scooter down, then you put the latch back up. Something interesting to note, this is one of the few scooters in this price range I've seen that doesn't have some kind of latch that latches down to the base of the scooter in some way. The next major characteristic to note is the smoothness of the ride. Out of all budget scooters in this price range, I think the Kugo M2 Pro does the best job at reducing bumps and shaking during riding. This is thanks to its shock absorbers, which minimize the impact you'll feel from any rough terrain. You won't get the same ride you would with a high-end scooter that has a higher-end suspension, but I'm really impressed with what the Kugo was able to do in this price range. Also contributing to the smoothness of the ride are air-filled tires. These also reduce some of the shock you may feel while riding, while also offering some great traction. I'm personally a fan of solid tires, especially for budget scooters, because you don't have to worry about any piercing or popping. So, if you're looking for a lower maintenance budget scooter, you may want to look for ones that have solid tires. Nothing wrong with air-filled tires, but it's something to think about. Now moving to the handlebars and display. I love this setup. I'm personally a fan of simplistic designs that only include the essential functions like throttles, brakes, and a minimal display. With the Kugo M2 Pro, you'll find everything you need and nothing more. The display shows speed and battery life, the throttle and brakes feel responsive, and the grips have a nice texture. The only thing that's missing for me is a hook on the stem of the scooter. Because the M2 Pro doesn't hook onto the back when it folds, Kugo understandably didn't include a hook. I like to hang my lock and other things on the hook while I ride, so it does make transporting any kind of objects around a little more difficult. You can always just wear a backpack though. A couple more things to note about the scooter. The Kugo has great brakes. I've reviewed quite a few scooters now and so far I've found that they all tend to have good brakes in this price range, so nothing special here. The scooter also has an app and I personally didn't spend much time with this. What excites me is the scooter and riding the scooter, so I don't pay much attention to any apps which usually don't add much anyway. Before we get into who should buy the scooter, please give the video a like if the information here is helpful. It helps us review scooters and make videos just like this one. This scooter is priced in an interesting place as it's not the cheapest scooter you can get, but it also doesn't quite get to the price of being a quote unquote budget scooter. For me, it falls into the zone of being just a slightly more expensive cheap scooter. Of the cheap scooters I've tried though, this is the best. So I recommend the Kugo M2 Pro to those that are trying to get the least expensive commuter scooter possible. Though you could buy the GoTrax GXL V2 for $50 less, the extra $50 gets you much better folding, a much better suspension, and a wider deck. I suggest you pay that extra amount to get these higher end features that usually come with a significantly higher price. Overall, I'm very impressed with the Kugo M2 Pro. With low-end scooters, you often lose out on some of the quality of life features you get with more expensive scooters, but the M2 Pro somehow fits these in without compromising on price. The ride is smooth, the folding is great, and you feel like you're on a higher-end ride. If you have any insight in how the scooter performs, please share in the comments below so others can get a good sense of how the scooter is. 